Well, I'm David Kopriva, vascular surgeon from Regina, and uh, I travel a lot, so uh, that's why we find ourselves in a Toronto hotel room at uh, 9 p.m. on a Thursday night. Well, the, the cause of stroke that I'm most interested in is carotid plaque, so it's it's a buildup of, uh, of, of material in the arteries of the neck that lead to the brain. The problem is that the plaque can start to crumble and send little bits of debris up into the small blood vessels of the brain and they get lodged there and that's what causes the types of strokes that I'm interested in. To understand what is it about a plaque that has been in somebody's carotid artery for years or even decades, uh, how is it that suddenly on Tuesday morning at uh, you know 9.30 it causes a stroke. What happens uh, between that time that the plaque is stable and not doing anything and quiescent um, and what happens to, to, to activate it to cause the actual stroke. We are very fortunate that we have people who not only trust me to do surgery for them and take out the plaques that um, might cause their strokes, uh, but they're also generous enough to donate these plaques for research that we do and we, uh, we look at the differences, we analyze the differences between the plaques that have caused recent strokes and those that haven't to try to identify what it is that uh, is different about the plaques that are active. So we also do very thin sections of uh, the plaque. We, we slice it up into very uh, thin slices um, and we mount them on, on slides and take this to the Canadian light source where um, we can use these uh, incredibly high uh, doses of x-ray radiation so we can identify what uh, atoms are present where in the plaque. What, what I'd really like to do is to have a blood test that's going to tell me who with a carotid plaque is going to have a stroke. Um, that's where we would like things to go.